Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I still remember the first web page I ever created. Uh, it was done in uh, a text editor on a, a FreeBSD account that was given to me by my university. And uh, that was all the way back in 1990. <clears throat> it's been a while. Uh, suffice it to say, I've largely stuck with plain old text editors uh, when I create websites or web pages or web designs in general uh, still hasn't changed despite the advancement of web development tools. Now the user known as Fatal emailed me today and says, I was looking for a Dreamweaver alternative for creating my web page. I came across a program called Optana. It's a free open source tool that allows you to do the same thing as Dreamweaver and it has many features. Thought you might want to check it out. Well, the website is AP T-A-N-A, -A, and indeed, it is open source. Well, at least the community edition is. There's also a professional edition with uh, a whole bunch of, well, things you'd expect when you pay a, a professional price, right around 100 bucks, I believe, for the professional level. It includes support and other fancy services. The application itself, by and large, remains the same in community edition as well as the professional edition. So, it's a good recommendation with the caveat. It is open source, it's available on a variety of platforms, but it's done in Java, which means that performance is kind of doggy. Sorry, I don't mean to offend any Java developers, but just about any time I run a Java application on Windows or the Mac, doesn't matter which version of Java or what kind of app, it is just doggy. The world's most popular Java application on the desktop, I would believe, is Azurius, which is the uh, BitTorrent client, which is also free. Uh, I dropped that on Windows a while back just because I couldn't get over the hogginess of Java on the desktop. Now, server level, Java's fine. Uh, am I saying that Optana is not worth it? No. I downloaded it. I looked at it on Windows, and um, if you can look past a lot of the speed issues that it has, it's uh, 1.0 uh, right now. Um, it's got plenty of troubleshooting features integrated in the open source edition. Very full feature. Uh, that was uh, quite a surprise. Um, it's it spoke to me in the sense that it didn't feel like it was imposing some kind of UI layer or a GUI mode for designing or developing web pages or troubleshooting uh, HTML. Um, there are a, a handful of tools in there, not just for straight up HTML, but also for AJAX and JavaScript, um, for CSS, and uh, I think it'll be interesting to watch as Aptana certainly continues to evolve. This is a 1.0 release. Performance should get better as hard computers get faster and uh, Java continues to evolve. Uh, but the fact that it is built in Java means that it is inherently cross-platform. Um, I, on the uh, Windows side of things, use PSPad, uh, the free text editor for most of my development. I, I do need to look into more something like uh, an Optana, so I, I'm going to try to give it a fair shake. Um, recently, uh, I've learned about Rapid Weaver on the Mac. Uh, other people have recommended Coda as well, and uh, I'm going to be taking a look at, at those two applications. The, they're more of a combination between GUI and straight up text editing for web development. Um, at this point though, I'd be interested in finding out what you guys use. I, I know some of you are hardcore Mozilla fans and use NVU, NVU, which is also open source. However, um, NVU looks, well, it, it looks like the smudge on, on my plate where a peanut butter sandwich used to be. That's and and view just doesn't and end view just doesn't taste as good. No. No. End view definitely does not taste as good as that smudge did. What HTML editor do you use? What CSS editor do you use? Do you use a, a dedicated web development tool or tool set at all? Use Dreamweaver, use something else. Open source, not open source? I'm just curious. What do you think? What do you like? What do you want to share with the rest of the world? Let me know, chris at perillo.com. You're also free to uh, leave a follow-up comment or remark in this video thread thing that we got going. 
And then you're also welcome to swing by our website, uh, which was designed by this user known as Apox. He did an excellent job. I love what he had put together. He's got a great eye uh, for web development and web design. And uh, maybe I could convince him to do a, f a few more things because he's got, like I said, he's got a good eye. I wonder what tool he used. Maybe it was just his own hands and notepad.exe or VI. Nano? Pico. Jed? Joe? <clears throat> if you want to chat with us anytime, day or night, you don't need to even know what we're talking about. You just got to be curious and enjoy the world of technology. We're typically talking tech 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live.perillo.com. Will you later?